if they say if we'll only avoid avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love. What's going on, guys? It's Psych, and we're back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be going over how to and what to do to farm the loot tinks in Borderlands 3. Now, I know there's been a lot of people that have covered this, but, you know, I see a lot of them trying to go over everything and what, what, all the possibilities you could do, and it's like, yeah, you re you could do every single possibility, farm every single loot tink location on Eden 6, but, you know, I, I thought I'd, I'd kind of cut that down and make it into a, a good, easy run for you guys, so you can actually go to it, kill the loot tinks in the quickest time possible, and, uh, and virtually get to the next run as quick as possible. I mean, that's just the best way to say it. Now, before I get into this shameless plug ahead, if you do enjoy content like this, make sure to hit that like button. If you're enjoying it, drop a comment so I know you're here, and click the subscribe button so you never miss any of this banging content. Also, if you ring the bell right next to that subscribe button, and since you're already there clicking subscribe, ring that bell and you'll get notified whenever I upload these banging videos. Now, without further ado, let's get back into the video. You will most likely be farming hoarder tanks because loot tanks don't drop very many legendaries. It's just, you know, how they are. The loot tanks themselves are really money. The hoarder tanks give a lot of other things, um, at least from my experience. Now, before we get into it, before we dive deep into, you know, hoarder tanks and, and what we're doing with them, make sure you're in offline mode. And I know, you hear it all the time, but seriously, if you want these legendaries, if you want these hoarder tanks to spawn, you know every single time you have to be in offline mode um, if you can't do that I apologize um, there is not a whole lot you can do you can still do the run absolutely and have a possibility of getting a couple um, but your chances are going to be dropped down to almost you know five ten percent each run ten percent chance for one to spawn versus in the swamp where they spawn one or two every single time so I just say going offline mode. It's a must. If you're on Xbox, go to network settings, um, go offline. If you're on PlayStation, do the same thing where you disconnect from the internet and PC. Um, virtually do the same. Disconnect from Wi-Fi, airplane mode, something like that. Um, I don't know if that will prohibit you from playing the game. Should not because it's an offline game as well. So just disconnect from Wi-Fi, and you should be able to do it super easy. It's you know nothing crazy. Um, you can also turn your X or turn your online mode back. Um, and play with your friends until you leave the session or until you click yes you can update alright now with, that, with all that out the way with every bit of the offline mode let's start the run let's start the talk about the run so basically you're going to spawn into Eden 6 and from there you're virtually going to run all the way forward until you go into the back side where the stairs are and then cross the big hanging bridge or you're going to climb the ladder until you um, make it to the top and then go across the hanging bridge to the left of that um, in the run that you'll see me, I probably do the latter for the fact that it's quickest, and I also have a loaded dice with 102% slide speed, so bullets don't exist to me when I'm doing that. So I can get there pretty quick. If you have the same thing, you can as well get there pretty quick. A uh, snow drift relic is also one that increased by like 75% your slide, so pretty good. I mean, you can virtually, you know, go through the game extremely fast with, you know, no problem. So get there, get to the checkpoint station that we all virtually know, and spawn in right there. Okay, now you're there, you've got your respawn, you will now spawn there every single time. From there, you're going to need to take a right, cross another little bridge to where the uh, the hoarder tank is in the swamp. So you're going to go back there, you're going to kill the um, hoarder tank back by the, uh, I guess, hole in the wall. Um, sometimes he spawns at the... Uh, the little cabin next to it, but most times he spawns out of that wall. Go over there, just kill him real quick, throw like three or four grenades, hit him with a gun or two, and then boom, there you go. Also, when you load in with mayhem mode, make sure to check your modifiers. If they're terrible modifiers, I would restart, because some of them make it where it's like negative 50% damage and stuff like that. It's going to make it extremely hard to farm these, so sometimes I just, you know, forfeit a run for the fact of bad modifiers and just go to the next one instead of wasting my time. So, if you get to that point, please do the same thing and just exit the game and restart. Okay. Now, continuing on with that, once you've killed that one by the cabin, make sure to also turn around and check the other cabin, kind of hanging off the edge behind the stairs. Um, kind of close, you, you should be able to see it, it's, it's the other cabin. Um, check that, make sure a hoarder tank did not spawn there. 
and then from there, head back to the respawn station. You do not have to kill the mobs. Don't fight all those mobs. You're here to farm the hoarder tank. You're not here to farm a bunch of enemies. Okay, going on to the next one, you're going to get to the uh, checkpoint station and then go to the left now instead of the right, or if you've, you know, if you're coming back across the bridge, keep going straight and go through the hole in the, like, arc, the rock arch looking thing, and then go forward a little bit and then take a right and you will be at where Heckle and Hyde are and where, where he stays and virtually you're gonna go in there and there's three spots they can either have one to spawn on the right, spawn right where Heckle is or spawn on top of the uh, the cliff face behind Heckle um, from there, yeah, just do your same thing, farm them, kill them make sure you get them dead, open the backpack cause that's where the main loot comes from, have them spew out all that loot and then also if you like to kill Heckle Heckle has a chance to drop the Pestilence as well as World Drops, which I think I have a, a video within here, clipped in here, of him dropping a World Drop. I think it was the Monocle, so proof he can drop World Drops. It's it's worth it to farm him, plus you can get a Pestilence, um, I don't know, every, what, 25% of the time? So every one out of four runs you should get a Pestilence, give or take a little. Um, and then from there, after you've killed all them, you check the top little uh, cliffside, head back down, run through the archway, take a right now, and head towards, I guess it's like an edge of the map. It kind of looks like there's a triangle barely attached, a really acute triangle uh, barely attached to the, to the cliffside. I'm going to go over there and check and make sure that a loot tank has not spawned there. There's only two locations. It's the guy on the right or the guy on the left behind the tree. If there isn't one there, you're done with the run and just save and quit, guys. That's probably going to be the quickest. Um, like I said, you could run and try and find all, you know, 10, 10 loot tank possibilities. Uh, or is it 11 or 12 now? Nonetheless, you could farm all of them every run, but there's a chance you're going to die. And it's going to take a whole lot more time versus just exiting the game, coming back in to a for sure tank, and then running the route again. Um, that's basically going to wrap it up, but I wanted you guys to know that there is a, a cleaner way to do it rather than just running and fumbling all over the place trying to get the uh, trying to get the hoarder tanks to spawn in and all those random locations. Um, there is the waterfall you can check too, which is right by that respawn station if you want to, but again, the, the hoarder tank there doesn't spawn very often, so I normally avoid it, but again, you can. You know, you can include some more as you guys do the run. You can add things to it. Don't, don't feel so restricted to just my run. If you guys be like, hey, you know what? I go an extra like 10 steps this direction and there's a hoarder tank here. I farm him as well. Boom. Okay, there you go. If that works for you, whatever works best for you, you should do that. This is just my run, what I normally do to check and try and get the most out of each and every run because I do like to get a good bit before having to exit and restart just for the fact of I'm lazy. Um, that's, uh, that's, that's it, guys. That's going to be the video. Just... Um, be safe with it, be quick with it, don't do any extra stuff, don't be trying to, I don't know, I couldn't even think of it, you guys are good, just, just do the hoarder tank run. Nonetheless, if you guys did enjoy the video, please feel free to click the like button, drop a comment, click the subscribe button, and ring the bell. Make sure you get notified, guys. Now, uh, without further ado, thank you so much for watching, I hope you did learn something. If you did, I'll see you in the next video, because you probably hit subscribe. Is a sight. I'll see you next time. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.